A mother is the female parent of a child. Mothers are women who inhabit or perform the role of bearing some relation to their children, who may or may not be their biological offspring. Thus, dependent on the context, women can be considered mothers by virtue of having given birth, by raising their child ren, supplying their ovum for fertilization, or some combination thereof. Such conditions provide a way of delineating the concept of motherhood, or the state of being a mother. Women who meet the third and first categories usually fall under the terms birth mother or biological mother, regardless of whether the individual in question goes on to parent their child. Accordingly, a woman who meets only the second condition may be considered an adoptive mother, and those who meet only the third a surrogacy mother. The above concepts defining the role of mother are neither exhaustive nor universal, as any definition of mother may vary based on how social, cultural, and religious roles are defined. The parallel conditions and terms for males, those who are typically biologically fathers do not, by definition, take up the role of fatherhood. Mother and fatherhood are not limited to those who are or have parented. Women who are pregnant may be referred to as expectant mothers or mothers-to-be, though such applications tend to be less readily applied to biological fathers or adoptive parents. The process of becoming a mother has been referred to as matrescence. Biological mother Biological motherhood for humans, as in other mammals, occurs when a pregnant female gestates a fertilized ovum the egg. A female can become pregnant through sexual intercourse after she has begun to ovulate. In well-nourished girls, menarche the first menstrual period usually takes place around the age of 12 or 13. Typically, a fetus develops from the viable zygote, resulting in an embryo. Gestation occurs in the woman's uterus until the fetus assuming it is carried to term is sufficiently developed to be born. In humans, gestation is often around nine months in duration, after which the woman experiences labor and gives birth. This is not always the case, however, as some babies are born prematurely, late, or in the case of stillbirth, do not survive gestation. Usually, once the baby is born, the mother produces milk via the lactation process. The mother's breast milk is the source of antibodies for the infant's immune system, and commonly the sole source of nutrition for newborns before they are able to eat and digest other foods. Older infants and toddlers may continue to be breastfed, in combination with other foods, which should be introduced from approximately six months of age. Childlessness is the state of not having children. Childlessness may have personal, social, or political significance. Childlessness may be voluntary childlessness, which occurs by choice, or may be involuntary due to health problems or social circumstances. Motherhood is usually voluntary, but may also be the result of forced pregnancy, such as pregnancy from rape. Unwanted motherhood occurs especially in cultures which practice forced marriage and child marriage. Non-biological mother. Mother can often apply to a woman other than the biological parent, especially if she fulfills the main social role in raising the child. This is commonly either an adoptive mother or a stepmother the biologically unrelated partner of a child's father. The term, othermother, or other mother, is also used in some contexts for women who provide care for a child not biologically their own in addition to the child's primary mother. Adoption, in various forms, has been practiced throughout history, even predating human civilization. Modern systems of adoption, arising in the 20th century, tend to be governed by comprehensive statutes and regulations. In recent decades, international adoptions have become more and more common. Adoption in the United States is common and relatively easy from a legal point of view compared to other Western countries. In 2001, with over 127,000 adoptions, the U.S. accounted for nearly half of the total number of adoptions worldwide. Surrogate mother A surrogate mother is a woman who bears a child that came from another woman's fertilized ovum on behalf of a couple unable to give birth to children. Thus the surrogate mother carries and gives birth to a child that she is not the biological mother of. Surrogate motherhood became possible with advances in reproductive technologies, such as in vitro fertilization. Not all women who become pregnant via in vitro fertilization are surrogate mothers. 
Surrogacy involves both a genetic mother, who provides the ovum, and a gestational or surrogate mother, who carries the child to term. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Motherhood in same-sex relationships. The possibility for lesbian and bisexual women in same-sex relationships or women without a partner to become mothers has increased over the past few decades due to technological developments. Modern lesbian parenting, a term that somewhat erases the bisexual case, originated with women who were in heterosexual relationships who later identified as lesbian or bisexual, as changing attitudes provided more acceptance for non-heterosexual relationships. Another way for such women to become mothers is through adopting or foster parenting. There is also the option of self-insemination and clinically assisted donor insemination, forms of artificial insemination. As fertility technology has advanced, more females not in a heterosexual relationship have become mothers through in vitro fertilization. Social role The social roles associated with motherhood are variable across time, culture, and social class. Historically, the role of women was confined to some extent to being a mother and wife, with women being expected to dedicate most of their energy to these roles, and to spend most of their time taking care of the home. In many cultures, women received significant help in performing these tasks from older female relatives, such as mothers-in-law or their own mothers. Regarding women in the workforce, mothers often entail a mommy track rather than being entirely career women. Mothers may be stay-at-home mothers or working mothers. In recent decades there has been an increase in stay-at-home fathers too. Social views on these arrangements vary significantly by culture. In Europe for instance, in German-speaking countries there is a strong tradition of mothers exiting the workforce and being homemakers. Mothers have historically fulfilled the primary role in raising children, but since the late 20th century, the role of the father in child care has been given greater prominence and social acceptance in some Western countries. The 20th century also saw more and more women entering paid work. Mothers' rights within the workforce include maternity leave and parental leave. The social role and experience of motherhood varies greatly depending upon location. Mothers are more likely than fathers to encourage assimilative and communion-enhancing patterns in their children. Mothers are more likely than fathers to acknowledge their children's contributions in conversation. The way mothers speak to their children, motheries, is better suited to support very young children in their efforts to understand speech in context of the reference English than fathers. Since the 1970s, in vitro fertilization has made pregnancy possible at ages well beyond natural limits, generating ethical controversy and forcing significant changes in the social meaning of motherhood. This is, however, a position highly biased by Western world locality. Outside the Western world, in vitro fertilization has far less prominence, importance or currency compared to primary, basic health care, women's basic health, reducing infant mortality and the prevention of life-threatening diseases such as polio, typhus and malaria. Traditionally, and still in most parts of the world today, a mother was expected to be a married woman, with birth outside of marriage carrying a strong social stigma. Historically, this stigma not only applied to the mother, but also to her child. This continues to be the case in many parts of the developing world today, but in many Western countries the situation has changed radically, with single motherhood being much more socially acceptable now. For more details on these subjects, see legitimacy, family law, and single parent. The total fertility rate (TFR), that is the number of children born per woman, differs greatly from country to country. The TFR in 2013 was estimated to be highest in Niger, 7.03 children born per woman, and lowest in Singapore, 0.79 children woman. In the United States, the TFR was estimated for 2013 at 2.06 births per woman. In 2011, the average age at first birth was 25.6 and 40.7% of births were to unmarried women. <laughs> <laughs> Health and safety issues A maternal death is defined by WHO as 
the death of a woman while pregnant or within 42 days of termination of pregnancy, irrespective of the duration and site of the pregnancy, from any cause related to or aggravated by the pregnancy or its management but not from accidental or incidental causes." About 56% of maternal deaths occur in Sub Saharan Africa and another 29% in South Asia. In 2006, the organization Save the Children has ranked the countries of the world, and found that Scandinavian countries are the safest places to give birth, whereas countries in Sub Saharan Africa are the least safe to give birth. This study argues a mother in the bottom 10 ranked countries is over 750 times more likely to die in pregnancy or childbirth, compared to a mother in the top 10 ranked countries, and a mother in the bottom 10 ranked countries is 28 times more likely to see her child die before reaching their first birthday. The most recent data suggests that Italy, Sweden and Luxembourg are the safest countries in terms of maternal death and Afghanistan, Central African Republic and Malawi are the most dangerous. Childbirth is an inherently dangerous and risky procedure, subject to many complications. The natural mortality rate of childbirth, where nothing is done to avert maternal death, has been estimated as being 1500 deaths per 100,000 births. Modern medicine has greatly alleviated the risk of childbirth. In modern Western countries the current maternal mortality rate is around 10 deaths per 100,000 births. Religious Nearly all world religions define tasks or roles for mothers through either religious law or through the glorification of mothers who served in substantial religious events. There are many examples of religious law relating to mothers and women. Major world religions which have specific religious law or scriptural canon regarding mothers include, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. Some examples of honoring motherhood include the Madonna or Blessed Virgin Mother Mary for Catholics, and the multiple positive references to active womanhood as a mother in the Book of Proverbs. Hindus mother goddess and Demeter of ancient Greek pre-Christian belief are also mothers. Mother offspring violence History records many conflicts between mothers and their children. Some even resulted in murder, such as the conflict between Cleopatra III of Egypt and her son Ptolemy X. In modern cultures, matricide the killing of one's mother and filicide the killing of one's son or daughter have been studied but remain poorly understood. Psychosis and schizophrenia are common causes of both, and young, indigent mothers with a history of domestic abuse are slightly more likely to commit filicide. Mothers are more likely to commit filicide than fathers when the child is eight years old or younger. Matricide is most frequently committed by adult sons. In the United States in 2012, there were 130 matricides, 0.4 per million people, and 383 filicides, 1.2 per million, or 1.4 incidents per day. In art Throughout history mothers with their children have often been the subject of artistic works, such as paintings, sculptures or writings. Fourth-century grave reliefs on the island of Rhodes depicted mothers with children. Paintings of mothers with their children have a long tradition in France. In the 18th century, these works embodied the Enlightenment's preoccupation with strong family bonds and the relation between mothers and children. At the end of the 19th century, Mary Cassatt was a painter well known for her portraits of mothers. Many contemporary movies portray mothers. Topic: <laughs> Synonyms and translations. The proverbial first word of an infant often sounds like ma or mama. This strong association of that sound with mother has persisted in nearly every language on earth, countering the natural localization of language. Familiar or colloquial terms for mother in English are ma, ma ama, ama amu amu used in Bangladesh aama, mata used in Nepal Mom and mommy are used in the United States, Canada, South Africa, India and parts of the West Midlands including Birmingham in the United Kingdom. Ane, nene, mama, ma, mom, mommy are used in the Philippines. 
Mum and Mummy and Mama are used in the United Kingdom, Canada, Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, India, Pakistan, Hong Kong and Ireland. Charles, Prince of Wales publicly addressed his mother Queen Elizabeth II as Mummy on the occasion of her Diamond Jubilee. Ma, Mam, and Mammy are used in Netherlands, Ireland, the northern areas of the United Kingdom, and Wales. It is also used in some areas of the United States. In many other languages, similar pronunciations apply. Ama, Ama or Thai, Te in Tamil. Ma, Ai, Ama, and Mata are used in languages of India like Assamese, Hindi, Marathi, Tamil, Telugu, etc. Mama, Mama, Ma, and Mami in Spanish. Mama in Polish, German, Dutch, Russian and Slovak Mama, Ma 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 in Chinese Mama in Czech and in Ukrainian Ma Man in French and Persian Ma, Mama in Indonesian Ma Mai, Mam in Irish Mama in Italian, Icelandic, Latvian and Swedish Daik in Kurdish Ma Man or Matter in Persian Mame or May in Portuguese M, Mam in Punjabi Mama in Swahili, M, M in Hebrew, Ama M in Aramaic, Ma or Mi in Vietnamese, Mam in Welsh, Eomma, Eoma pronounced MMA in Korean. In many South Asian cultures and the Middle East, the mother is known as Ama, Oma, Ami or Ami, or variations thereof. Many times, these terms denote affection or a maternal role in a child's life. Etymology The modern English word is from Middle English motor, from Old English motor, from Proto-Germanic asterisk motor cf. East Frisian moor, Dutch motor, German mutter, from Proto-Indo-European asterisk mater cf. Irish mather, Tocharian a makar, b macer, Lithuanian moat. Other cognates include Latin mater, Greek meter, common Slavic asterisk mati, thence Russian mat, mat Persian matter, matter, and Sanskrit matter. matter. <laughs> Notable mothers <laughs> See also